since we're doing the rebuild of the Acceleron 5 rocket, I thought I'd take, take the opportunity to go through some of the different components uh, while they're still uh, pulled apart. Since, since the last explosion, we decided to uh, have a go at rebuilding the bottles. Uh, they're now made out of two layers of PET plastic, um, two litre bottles. Uh, they use two different glues, one to do the sealing, and the PL Premium actually holds the, the bottles together. And they're further reinforced with glass strap and tape. What, one of the other problems we had uh, with the nozzles was that the washers we were using, uh, they were slightly too big, and um, we think that the uh, washer itself protruded in onto the uh, water flow. So what we've done, is we've got new washers now that are much thinner and should seal uh, right around the edge um, rather than uh, get in the way of the flow. The launcher now is also equipped with new nozzle seats. Um, these nozzle seats were designed so that when the nozzle fits on them it has some amount of movement which allows the bottles to stretch and move around. Um, so there's a quite a tight tolerance where the o-ring is, but it's the nozzles are allowed to swing a little bit around that. So you can just see the little raised section here. So these bottles are joined with tornado couplings, and these are just made out of uh, three-quarter inch uh, polypropylene uh, BSB sockets. And what we do is we re-thread them to fit the bottle thread. And we also machine a nozzle A o-ring seat in there. So this is how they go on. We first put an o-ring into the bottle and then the tornado coupling simply screws on. And the other bottle goes in the other side. The other thing we now do is we just use a white uh, roll of paper. This is just regular A4 paper which thermally protects the coupling because one thing we found is uh, in the sun they can heat up quite a bit and actually distort the thread that's underneath them. So this just protects them um, from the sun. Over here we have uh, the six bearings that go between the bottles uh, and different ones do different things. This particular one has a camera built in on one side an altimeter on the other side. This one is our computer one that has the primary and secondary computers. Uh, they control the parachute deployment and staging. Uh, there's just some uh, ones that go between bottles. And here's another one, um, well actually two of them for primary and secondary parachute. And all they have is the servo and the actual parachute fits in here. And they simply go between the bottles as they're screwed in. Uh, over here we've got the uh, fins, they're just made out of coroflute plastic and what we do is we actually uh, glue them onto a section of a bottle uh, which is perfectly contoured because it's made out of the same bottle to the bottles that they fit to. So all we have to do is take these on, we don't like to keep them there permanently so we can swap them between bottles. So there's three of these fins. Here we have uh, an old pressure switch we used to use, uh, which we've now replaced. And all this one did was screwed on top of the bottle, and there's a little micro switch up here. So when a pressure was applied, the switch would rise, and when pressure dropped in the booster, it would activate the switch. Um, so this one was a little bit leaky, so we've replaced it with a new one now. Uh, this particular switch is a push button that's inside the bottle cap that screws on top of the booster and over that is a rubber membrane which seals up against the uh, the edge of the bottle. If I take the cover off you can see the switch underneath with the wire contacts. So this unit is the central part of the whole booster. Uh, it has the stager and the base plate and the release mechanism uh, on it. And uh, basically the release mechanism, uh, this has been machined to uh, fit into a standard 9mm garden, uh, Gardena connector. Uh, it supplies the air to the sustainer 
and it also retains the entire booster. The whole booster is held down by uh, three ball bearings on here. Uh, the rest of the base plate uh, holds all of the separate booster segments together. Um, and that basically transfers the force from the uh, nozzles uh, through to the entire booster and to support the whole sustainer. Um, that's made out of aluminium to withstand the force and uses carbon fiber struts. Um, the air comes through the uh, center part, that's just PVC pipe, and goes into a non-return valve uh, that makes sure water doesn't come back out of the sustainer while the rocket's flying. Uh, going further up, the air goes up into the uh, Gardena release mechanism and that's basically uh, spring-loaded back so when we release the lever, which is actually activated by uh, two separate servo motors inside, it's a redundant system. So when you pull that back, it'll release the um, sustainer. And this component basically just supports the bottles to keep them separate from each other. So next up we have the main ring brace support at the top of the rocket. And this is just made out of um, uh, fiberglass wrapped uh, balsa wood and just uses a bit of birch wood for the, the actual supports. Uh, this fits at the top of the rocket, uh, at the top of the booster, to keep the, um, to allow the sustainer to fly through and have enough clearance for the fins. So each of the different booster segments uh, just fits on like that. And then there's a Velcro strap that goes over the top uh, that holds it in place, one at the top, one at the bottom. And that allows for a little bit of expansion in the bottle uh, while keeping it uh, away from the sustainer. These are the parachutes for the booster, and here is the parachute for the uh, sustainer. Uh, these ones are just made out of old golf umbrellas um, with some uh, braided nylon line. Um, this one has a, uh, a shock cord, and this is the primary parachute. This is the backup parachute, but the rocket actually relies on both of these coming out. Uh, this one is one and a half meters in diameter, the secondary is 1.2 meters in diameter, and then the sustainer one, which is just made out of uh, the ripstop nylon, is uh, 800 millimeters in diameter. So next up, we assemble all of these components. Uh, we'll do some pressure testing along the way of, of the different parts, and then hopefully we'll get it back up in the air again, uh, but more on that in the next update. Here are some rockets from the last launch day. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, go! Three, two, one. 